What happens if you sue someone and then they die? Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. And I'm here to answer all your questions like this one. Uh, before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, first things first. I love all of your questions. If you have more questions, please give them to me. Uh, I really do uh, get a kick out of answering them. All of them are great. There's no bad questions. Some of them are hilarious. Some of them are sad. This question, however, I must give some kudos to because it is a question that I don't think I've ever actually created a video on, and it is a good question. So kudos to you. Uh, this is a, oh, this is a YouTube person, HB Pro Management. Shout out to you, okay? Um, so what happens if you are suing someone and they die? It's relatively straightforward. Uh, it depends on um, what the case is like, what the claim is like on what you would want to do. But uh, essentially what happens is when you, when that person dies, you become a creditor against their estate, okay? So if they open a probate without you, then you would want to add the estate of the person that died on as a party to your case. If no one opens a probate, um, and this is unlikely that you would want to do anything in this case because if no one opens a probate, it's likely that there are no assets. Um, and if there are no assets, there's no reason to sue anyone, right? If there are assets, they are likely to, the family, someone is likely to open a probate and you can name them as a party in the suit and just proceed as you were, uh, just as if they were alive. So that's the kind of the short answer of what you would do. If there were assets and no one is coming forward, let's say you're gonna be able to get all the assets because they, they are terrible and you have a good claim. You can open a probate as a creditor in the case and then basically you would be suing yourself. Um, you know, the court will have some intervention there. They probably would not name you as the executor or the personal representative, but you could still continue the case by opening a probate on behalf of the estate and then pursuing the claim against the estate. So those are the two different things that you would do. It's not as if you're just out of luck. You can still sue them. By the way, the flip side is true as well. Uh, we have done several probates where someone has died in a car accident and it was not their fault. In order to uh, pursue that claim against the party that was wrong, the, the heirs typically will open a probate and then they will pursue that, that car accident claim through that process. So great question. Um, like I said, I don't think it's one I've ever answered before, so love doing those, okay? Um, if you want more of this stuff, if you have questions, ask them. Like, subscribe, follow, do whatever you wanna do. And um, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right, that is it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.